I've been so excited for this one. So I gave everyone a task this week, which was to come up with the plot of a Warhammer movie in a different genre and fan cast who you would like to play each of the characters. So um, uh, we haven't we haven't discussed before what anyone's what anyone's doing. So we're gonna we're gonna find out and react to this live. But uh, James has been going on at long length, sort of a uh, trash talk in before the before the show in the preamble. James is like so happy with his one. I really like my one, yeah. But Cause... I'm convinced he's gonna say at least one thing that George has no reference for, doesn't get doesn't no, get I the think, reaction that he needs I think, at I think, all. I think he'll be all right actually. I think he'll be all right. I'm not gone too retro on this, so don't worry. And that's not a dig at George. <laughs> no. By the way. It's not. I've not gone too retro on this, but I've got There's two people in that conversation. I'm, I'm and it ain't a dig at George. Yeah, right. I'm representing everyone under 30 on this podcast. <laughs> yeah. So I mean I can do mine if you want to start off. Let's with. let's right. First of all, what is the uh, movie genre that you've gone for? So I, I don't really know what the genre is, and I'll explain Brilliant. why. That, no, oh wait, great, I, right. I, 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 <laughs> great start. Okay, oh, there's I, what right, so, James, there's there's one thing you've got to do next week. Come up with a genre for a movie. Okay, well I haven't okay, done the genre. So but. It's, it's like it's a comedy, basically. So it's a comedy take a comedy take on on so what I've tried to do is is do a film from a from a specific part of one of the heresy books, basically. It's like a film about that specific thing. Well that's that period of time during the heresy so it's uh it's where vulcan crashes onto onto mccrag and he's basically going nuts on mccrag okay um and you've got gulliman john grammaticus and comrade kurz are all like in the mix basically so it's just and he loses his hammer as well so basically um so it's basically that part but, of but that. he pulls a thor yeah, basically, yeah, he teleports himself onto the crack. And then Gulliman picks up the so, hammer. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so it's 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 a scene scene there, and I've chosen four characters to represent, or four people to represent each of those characters, and I think it'd be hilarious as a as a as a film, basically, just all the things that go on and the way that those actors or people would play the character, basically. Go on then. Who are you? Uh, who are you casting in this movie? So, Vulcan is portrayed by Chris Tucker <laughs> because. I absolutely loved him in The Fifth Element, and I just think that him playing Vulcan would be hilarious, like absolutely hilarious. Just the way he is, <laughs> like, okay, yeah, okay. I think it'd be amazing. Um, I love everyone tuning into this, like, oh yeah, when Henry Cavill was uh, as, like Valdor and da da da. And the first one we drop <laughs> is Chris Tucker, who He'd be hasn't amazing. been in a film for I don't know how long. He'd be an amazing Vulcan, I think. He's, he's, been <laughs> such, he's yeah. done a film in like 20 years. No, I, like, I know, but yeah, but that's the thing. Like, Vulcan's this stir, like, I just think him portraying him would be hilarious. Like, it'd just be super funny. Right. Um, uh, John Grammaticus is uh, a perpetual. Who is, who is his John character? Grammaticus is a character that goes through several of the books. He's a perpetual, so he's a, he lives, he's immortal. And he basically, okay. he's, him and Vulcan have got like quite intertwining lines. Um, so they have quite a lot of things where they're kind of like, John Grammatis is trying to basically kill Vulcan to, for lots of reasons, but there's there's lots of things going on in the books. But so I, I've got John Grammaticus played by Ricky Gervais. <laughs> that's, not, that's such a wild card. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Ricky Gervais only plays himself, so yeah. this entire character is just going to be Ricky what a Gervais. wild card. Yeah. He, yeah, he he would be he would be hilarious because there is there is zero chance that those two have ever been in the same room. I know, but, at the same time but I just ever. think that he yeah. he, he played amazing Ricky. Uh, he played amazing. He would Jim. play an amazing. He played amazing. Ricky 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 <laughs> yeah, I just think the way that he does it would be hilarious. Now, um, in in that book, Erebus, everyone hates Erebus anyway. But I think to 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 make Erebus really funny and and he'd have like a humorized, really dark kind of like approach to doing Erebus. Um, Frankie Boyle is my uh, is my is my Erebus because I because I literally I, I I just the way that Frankie Boyle is I think he he would make such a great I did a great that's the one that's got me the most I Scottish see, Erebus he'd be he'd be absolutely amazing I think yeah. I didn't see like, that that's yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just think that, that would be absolutely amazing. Um, that's the one you asked me yesterday. Yeah, and you J thought, yesterday James went um, James went. Does it have to be an actor? And I went, no, that's kind of funnier if it's not. And he went, so it can be a comedian. And I went, yeah. And then I thought I had him because I went, it's going to be Lee Evans. Lee Evans is in it then. He knows he loves, big Lee, fan he loves Lee Evans. And he went, oh, it's not actually. And I completely forgot about that. I didn't even think about who else it could possibly just... be. And I wouldn't have guessed that at all. Frankie Ball with Erebus, I think, would be hilarious. Just because uh, oh, I, just, God. I think it would be amazing. Um, and then finally, you got Comrade Kurz. Now, Comrade Kurz... 
is obviously quite a evil character, like quite bad. But I just think um, someone that would play him quite well would be Adam Driver. So the guy... Oh, that's actually that's a, actually a good, good pick. One. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think Adam Driver as Comrade Kurz would be absolutely amazing. That's a great like, pick. Yeah. That is very good. That's spot on. I think he would be great because... What what a, what a mental movie. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine seeing the poster for that film yeah. and all of those actors on the same I, thing? I, I literally think that would be, uh, it'd be amazing because then when you look at all the different scenes and bits and bobs that are in Vulcan Lives, <laughs> Vulcan Lives which is the book, book I just think that what would be... What an insane film. Film. Hang on, So we've got Chris Tucker. Who's directing it? I don't know. I've got no idea. I haven't picked a director. Whoever can Stephen make, Merchant. Whoever, <laughs> yeah. whoever, whoever can make that lot work together. Hang on, Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. Ricky Gervais. Yeah. Frankie Boyle was Frankie Erebus. Boyle and Adam Driver. And Adam Driver. <laughs> yeah. That's my, uh, that's my, that's my sort of like zoomed in short film about Vulcan landing on the crag. And having all these characters intertwined in the well, story. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know if you understood the assignment perfectly or didn't understand <laughs> it at all. I'm still not sure if that's I think if that wasn't the assignment, then the assignment was wrong. That's yeah. per that's the per that's brilliant. brilliant. I, I would watch it, I'm telling you now. Yeah. I, I think you'd have to watch it just based on the lineup. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that's you my, might cause like the universe I, I, to implode I, with those yeah. Frankie those people Boyle as so Erebus, I think would be absolutely amazing. That's unreal. Yeah, like I just think he'd be great. <laughs> yeah. Right, Joe. Well, mine's mine's supposed to be funny, but I don't think I've got a patch on that now. But I'll, t- I'll we'll, we'll go. He's we'll wild. Go he's it. done too much of a wild card we'll go for, this, it. for this to pan out. How are we um, supposed to follow that? So mine isn't an already known. Mine's a comedy as well, um, but mine isn't a, an already built-in story within Warhammer. I'm, I'm, this is a new story. We're adapting a new story for. Uh, for Warhammer. So mine actually takes place even further in the future than Warhammer 40k. Warhammer 41k. No, no, no. This is Warhammer 50k, 50K, 50K. 60k, oh, something those are, like those that. Those are bigger numbers yeah. than 40. Okay. 50k, 60k. Okay. And You've never seen this many Ks before. <laughs> what has happened um, in this time is the, the world has healed. The universe has healed. Okay. Everything is back to... It's, it's an even better version as what it ever could have been before. It's it, like a it's, Star Trek utopia. The universe has healed. The warp is closed. It's still there, but there's no access to anything like that. My law knowledge isn't uh, top tier, by the way. So if I get anything <laughs> wrong, please, uh, please don't uh, flame me in the comments. Remember, this is a comedy film fan movie casting. But the, the warp is there, but no one can... There's nothing to do with it. And, yep. and uh, humanity's thriving. Every species is, is, is thriving and there's schools and, and everyone's back to normal and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah. And obviously in school you learn history um, and uh, history lessons for people of the, the Warhammer 60K timeline will yep. be learning about, you know, the events of Horus yep. Heresy and all the stuff that was going on thousands and thousands of years ago and stuff like that. Um, so there's two teenagers who are failing their history exam. And now some people might start to pick up that this is just Bill and Ted. (laughs) This is Bill and Ted, (laughs) but Warhammer. Um, first of all, two teenagers, I'm going Tom Holland and Zendaya, right? (laughs) I, I do understand that they're, I think they're 30 now, but I reckon if we made this film, the next six months or something. <laughs> it's a very tight timeline. I reckon if we made this film in the next six months or something, Tom Holland and Zendaya, they can be teenagers still, I yeah. think. Well, Tom, we, we know you're listening uh, every yeah, week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Zendaya, not too keen. She's more of a painting phase girl. <laughs> yeah. um, so, yeah, we, we, we can make that work. Um, they're failing. They get visited from someone. They're, they're on their way home from school, whatever. They get visited by someone even further from the future. <laughs> right. From Warhammer 70K. From Warhammer 70K. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It's a navigator. Yeah. Which is spooky straight away. They've read about navigators in the books. They've read about that. They were just learning about, about that this morning. They've read yeah. about the wall. That is actually what was on the page that morning. Exposition. Yeah. How crazy is that? Yeah. Um, <laughs> the navigator informs them that um, it's actually pivotal to the... the uh, 
the universe that they pass their history class and go on to yeah to study history um further yeah so to ensure that those things don't happen again and the, and the navigators seen the future without that happening and it's awful and so the navigators come to them so the best way for them as in bill and ted uh to um past their history class is to go back in time they go through the warp with with the navigator oh the navigator by the way is played by walton goggins i don't know if you're familiar with <laughs> i'm not walton familiar goggins. with who that is <laughs> who is that walton goggins it, go, bring him up have you just pulled a clive warren no, no 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 walton goggins you'll know him you'll know him It'll, i think he would be a good navigator we'll have him all like <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna search he's he's a legend mate he's a legend walton goggins <laughs> Okay, right. You're not, you're not seeing like no, Hateful Eight, he's in? Yeah, no, I'm he's with in the you. Hateful Eight. I'm with you, Joe. Yeah, Go on. I'm with you, yeah. Go on. You're losing so me. But Goggins, you can no, pull no, it back no. if you've got time. Walton Goggins, it's Walton Goggins and Zendaya and Tom Holland so far. The, I don't classic, think they've the ever, classic trio. I don't think they've ever been in anything together. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, as it stands. Um, I just think he'd be a good, he'd be a good navigator. <laughs> yeah. Sort of ad mech him up a little bit or whatever, however <laughs> they look. Yeah. Um, they have to go back to warhammer 40k they have to witness what is going on yeah and they have to um the the assignment in particular is about space marines so they have to go and see what was going on and and talk to space marines and yeah. get the get the best possible account as that you can of a of a battle so the other three characters that they encounter encounter are three space marines okay um no specifics I've just gone, well, let's say it's a captain, a sergeant, and uh, well, actually, one, one of them definitely has to be a scout. One of them's a scout. So I'm going, Walton Goggins takes them to, um, <laughs> to Warhammer 40k mid battle. Yep. I'm going, Captain, who have I gone? What order have I done them in? Space Marine Captain, I've gone Nick Offerman, who plays. Ron Swanson oh my in Parks God. and Recreation. Oh Are you familiar with Nick Offerman? I know, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think Nick Offerman, as a Space Marine captain... Why could I picture that so perfectly? ...would be fantastic. <laughs> okay? So he he's the captain. We've got a sergeant of... I've gone Pedro Pascal as a sergeant, Space Marine sergeant. However, it's like... It's comedy, Pedro Pascal. Right, okay, yeah. <laughs> it's not it's not Last of Us, Pedro Pascal. <laughs> it's not Mandalorian, Pedro Pascal. It's like silly, goofy comedy, Pedro Pascal. Okay. And then finally, that, the Space Marine Scout, um, who I played by someone who I think would be a great addition to absolutely any film you could ever make, and that is Michael Cera. Oh, my Michael God. Michael Cera. <laughs> As a space marine scout, <laughs> the juxtaposition of Offerman and Sarah. Yeah, he's going to be stood next. To <laughs> yeah, him. we'd have to do some um, false perspective, uh, yeah, like, like Lord of the Rings stuff, yeah. Lord of the Rings stuff. Yeah, so they get chatting. They obviously talk to Offerman, Pascal, Sarah. Um, do they pass their exam and save the universe? We don't know. We don't know. We have to find get to the who's end of the who's film directing it. Out. Um, that's going to have to be. Like it's got to be Michael Bay in it with no, no, no. I'm gonna go. Uh, oh, it's got to go. It's got to be. I'm going Spielberg. Spielberg. Yeah. Spielberg is Strong. itching to direct this movie. Yeah. Spielberg, I think, could do a good job with Offerman and Sarah and Pascal. I think, and that oh, that gets to that. I, I mean, Walton Goggins, I reckon, be well up for it. <laughs> I reckon he'll love it. Joe, that was mental. I don't think it's a good film. I think it's a good film. I like Bill and Ted, so I just wanted to do a 40K version of Bill and Ted. <laughs> 70K version. Yeah. 70K. All right, yeah. George, your turn. Right. We've all, we've all gone comedy. Bit of a twist, though. Mine's a romantic comedy. Oh, God. Okay. All right. Mine is a... You, you might notice a, a film that I've been uh, prompted by because uh, this is not quite as on the nose as your Bill and Ted recreation. I've not gone as deep on the plot as you like. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. This is more of a sort of... Well, James's plot was already written for him. That's true. 
Yeah, so was mine. Mine was Bill yeah. and Ted. Okay. I cheaped out. I cheaped out and put made up. Made well, up I've, I've ripped off my movie more based off of uh, the conception of the of the actors than the uh, the plot of the movie. Right. Right. Okay. Right. So this is my my sort of. I'll, I'll say it first. This is a romantic comedy. We meet our hero. Right. It's an ultramarine. It can be an ultramarine of your choice, but obviously, I'm casting Ryan Gosling as my <laughs> ultramarine. <laughs> Now, yeah, well, being an ultramarine, he's very, he's very by the book, right? So we catch him like mid-battle. He's doing the ultramarine thing, but we can tell there's just something not quite, not quite right about about his life. Well, he's I, doing... feel like, I feel like ultra, ultramarines and Ken are quite like, well, yeah, by the funny, book. It's funny you should say Ken, Joe, because <laughs> during a battle with some Harlequins, oh no, <laughs> across the battlefield. <laughs> Ryan Gosling, our hero, locks eyes with who other than Margot Robbie? Margot Robbie, the Harlequin. See, I could see, I get I, I could I get see that because of Joker. Oh, Harley Quinn. Well, Harley, Harley Quinn. Yeah, yeah. Harley I Quinn. imagine that's. Where I mean, you I don't know. You didn't connect those I imagine, dots. I imagine yeah. that's where you were going. That's with where that. I was going with it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I get it. The Joker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Cheers, James. Yeah, that's all right. I mean, I imagine that's that's. I thought that's the penny that was dropping the second. Well, yeah. he sees her being badass, tearing it up on the battlefield, and he's doing mm. his Ken thing, just lusting after her, you know, mm. catching eyes. I'd just like to point out, I haven't watched the Barbie film, so I don't know. No, That's I fine. But you're gonna, after this story, you're going to feel like you've seen it. Okay. <laughs> so <laughs> the battle goes on. She's, you know, she. So let's say it was a it was a nil-nil battle, right? She's, <laughs> nil-nil? Why is this a no, football match? You know, some some stuff happened in, in the war. Who knows, right? They get split off, right? She's off in the distance, never to be seen again. He's, uh, Ryan Gosling's had this complete epiphany, right? He's got to go on this quest to go and find his one true love. Of course. Oh, yeah. Margot Robbie. Yeah. So he bands together with some cast and crew, you know, some side characters who are going to go on this adventure with him across the galaxy. Okay. Right? Okay. Who other than <laughs> his trusty servitor duo? <laughs> right. Oh, God. <laughs> We've got a similar route with this, Joe. I was trying to keep a straight face. <laughs> the duo of... I don't even know his name, which makes it funnier. McLovin from Superbad. <laughs> you can't give him that. You got to look up his name at least. No, that's way funnier. Christopher. Christopher. Uh, I'm sure it's like Christopher Mintz Plus or something. Whatever it is, <laughs> and obviously his sidekick Michael Sarah. Oh, we both have Michael both Sarah have Michael in our Sarah. 40k film. That's insane. And I had to throw one more in there because we said five characters. Yeah. So I'm just going to take a tertiary guardsman. Who other than Danny DeVito? Oh my Perfect. God, that's brilliant. Perfect. Yeah, that is brilliant. Do you know what? I've seen a few people before. Danny DeVito was Creed. As a, as a, uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would yeah. be amazing. Yeah. So yeah, they're going to go on a, on a little romantic comedy quest across the galaxy to go and find his one true love, Margot Robbie. Incredible. Danny DeVito to me is that, remember that old guard model with the shotgun and the belly? Yeah. Yeah, I'm picturing Danny it DeVito. full Danny DeVito from uh, See, It's I, Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, yeah. I would have thought yeah. you had gone Danny DeVito for the Servitor. I, that was the initial plan, but then I thought, McLovin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. That's... And also, Michael Sarah. And... I can't believe we've both cast Michael Sarah in our <laughs> Warhammer 40k <laughs> fan cast. There you go. Yeah. I, almost, I almost put, um, I was going to do like a, a swerve and put like Henry Cavill as a janitor at the school or something. <laughs> to annoy everyone. Uh, I was initially going to do Jonah Hill with Michael Sarah. Yeah, yeah. But then I thought. That's oh, what I thought you were going to say as the guy. Well, I was going to say, but I thought that was two on the nose. Yeah. But yeah. I do love Superbad. So yeah. I threw McLovin. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I'd, I'd, I'd probably, watch all of them. I'd probably If watch I'm that. honest, I would watch all of them. I'd, I'd watch James's purely based on it sounding insane. Um, oh, as opposed to ours. That sound completely possible. Well, we have more compelling plots, I'll, I'll argue. Uh, well, yeah, maybe. I think well, James was a short film as well. Yeah. yeah. So it's, just, it's part of a book. It's yeah. Whole book. Yeah, he's more but, bringing... But I think if it was the whole book, if you read Vulcan Lives, then I think with those characters or those actors and... and I don't know comedians. if I could watch a three-hour film of <laughs> Ricky oh, Gervais <laughs> talking to Chris Tucker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I've got the best bit. My director, Christopher yeah. Lloyd. Oh, yeah, that's good. And he's going to have a cameo appearance, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's good. It's pretty. That's pretty good. I mean, I'm, yeah. That's I'm pretty, pretty happy good. with that. Understood the assignment. Yeah. I, I'm just never going to look at Frankie Vault the same again. That is Erebus. That's Erebus, yeah. Yeah. Maybe you wanted, maybe you wanted some like token representation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>